Welcome to Soundbridge Music's Featured Artist Interview. In this series, we get to know Front Range artists who not only shaped the local music scene, but who joined with Soundbridge Music in its mission to use the power of music to improve the lives of individuals and bring communities together. Today we're here with rock, folk, and soul singer-songwriter Dave Coyle, the featured Soundbridge Music member artist for December 2018. She to tell you, she thinks you ought to know. She's standing there in the corner Her overalls are dirty from the flowers picked and put into her hair In the parking lot Well, thanks so much for joining us! Well, thanks for having me! Let's talk a bit about your music. Okay. Uh, what, what inspiration lies behind it? What are your influences? And, uh, yeah. Well, I, you know, I... <sighs> You know, I uh, I really like a wide variety of musical styles. I'm mm -hmm. I'm really into uh, uh, eclecticism. Um, so you know, there's always that uh, kind of the Beatles influence. You know, the great thing about the Beatles were that they were able to do stuff that was really accessible, but at the mm -hmm. same time they were able to do some artsy stuff underneath. You know, so mm -hmm. so a lot of people that are fans of the Beatles don't realize you know exactly how artsy some of that stuff is. I'm not going to say that the Beatles are a huge influence. I mean, I'm probably, I, I would say vocally, I really love uh, Sam Cooke and Little Richard. Okay. Not, and I do like, you know, John Lemon. Le Lemon. John Lennon? I like uh, John Lennon is definitely uh, an influence. I'd say, though, in recent years, though, it's been more like the singing has, ha you know, all the influences have taken... Uh, uh, a back seat to just trying to sing healthy, mm. you know, it's like your voice starts wearing out over time yeah. and so uh, So I don't know. I don't know how apparent those uh, vocal influences are um, But musically uh, I really like um, You know, I always say it's it's rock folk and soul. I, I, I really try to do a lot of kind of acoustic rock, I guess um, but uh, I, I really like the Kinks. I like Elvis Costello. Um, I like uh, um, you know more recent bands like uh, Spoon uh, is really great. Uh, the Walkmen. I like the Walkmen. Oh, I haven't heard of that. Uh, I, I really love the Velvet Underground too. That's another band that was really artsy and uh, eclectic. Uh, you know, Elvis Costello was too. Um, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. A lot of your influences are bands and so eclectic. How did it pare down to just you with a guitar? Oh, you know what? I guess, um, well, I started out in the 90s, and I was just singing. I had a friend, uh, my friend Bob, now Dr. Bob. He went off to do responsible things. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, he was he played all the instruments. And uh, I knew that he was going to be moving across uh, country, and we were going to try to do stuff remotely. And so, I, you know, but I, I didn't know how frequently we'd do it, so I had to pick up an instrument. And it seemed like the guitar was just the most uh, compact instrument at the mm -hmm. time. Today it would be a keyboard, probably. Yeah. Um, but it just seemed the most practical. Nice. Yeah. So yeah. so many interesting musical influences. Um, what what lies behind your lyric writing? Uh, lyrically, boy... Um, you know, I, I used to write... Uh, I mean, I was a writer before I was a lyric writer, um, I used to do a lot of short stories and whatnot. And actually in the 90s, I really wanted to be a screenwriter. Mm -hmm. That was a really big thing. So so I spent a lot of time uh, <laughs> trying and failing to be a screenwriter. So writing short, you know, uh, sitcom, uh, you know, spec scripts and mm -hmm. and uh, trying to write uh, trying to write some features and stuff. I actually did a lot of uh, sketch comedy uh, at the time, uh, sketch comedy and some improv comedy uh, there in the, the late nineties. Interesting. Um, but the lyrically, I don't know. I you know I'm not really sure. I'm not sure how to answer that. I love people like Paul Simon. Mm -hmm. I really love uh, you know folks like uh, Smokey Robinson. Uh, I like Elvis Costello. Um, I think uh, I, I do appreciate snarky songwriting. Yeah. I like serious stuff too. Um, oh, but I've definitely got. Uh, I mean, Richard Thompson, you know, I really love Richard Thompson. He's, yeah. he's amazing. Um, yeah, it's a little bit, I, I think I have a little bit of snarky stuff. Even when yeah. I'm trying to be serious, it tends to be a little bit snarky, mm -hmm. which is, I don't know, it sort of <laughs> seeps through no matter what. So, so uh, let's talk a little bit about the music community here. Um, you live in Longmont. I do live in Longmont. Nice. And uh, how has it been uh, getting into the, the songwriter and music scene around here? 
Longmont is a really robust music scene, and it's grown. It seems like it's really grown in the six years, five years. I got here in 2013. Five years since I've been here. So, I mean, it really, there's so many more opportunities now. Just, I mean, just, there's so many more open mics than there were back then. I mean, some have, some have passed on, but other ones have grown to take its place. And there's a lot more uh, music venues around town, too. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, there's, and one of the things that's really, really great about Longmont is the community events. Uh, the one that you run at 300 Sons. I mean, that's just a real great community event. And I kind of, I kind of shy away from some of the, sometimes some of the, some of the jam sessions. I'm not, I'm not really a great imp- improviser on the guitar, mm-hmm. um, which may be just a cop out. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I tend to be more. But I, but I, I definitely like uh, the Speakeasy and the Dickens, and I really love uh, for shows. I really love playing at uh, Still Sellers. Um, uh, used to play at La Vida Bella. That was a nice place. Um, uh, uh, St. Vrain Cidery, and uh, I mean, there, there's just so many places. I, I really want to try Lung, Lung Tucky uh, uh, Spirits at some point. That yeah. looks really cool. Um, but there's a lot of places, and it's been actually, it's been a couple years since I've really just tried to uh, uh, carpet bomb the area and try to figure out all the new venues and yeah. stuff. But, but it's a great place to play, and there's a lot of wonderful people here. Yeah. And also just being so so close to Lions, just uh, being able to have access to Planet Bluegrass and Song School oh, and, yeah. and all that. And and it's a great place to be relative to, you know, in Boulder County. Um, it's mm-hmm. just kind of, and, and we're kind of halfway between Fort Collins and Denver, so mm-hmm. so it really works out that way. But but yeah. but Longmont, yeah, it's really, there's a lot of great people here, mm-hmm. absolutely. And, and I've really enjoyed... Uh, uh, collaborating with folks in the area um, over the last year, I think I was a little bit shy about collaborating, but over the last uh, year, year and a half, it seems like I've I've done a lot more collaborating with the locals around here, and it's been a great time. Um, just uh, songwriting, I think I think just trying to yeah. uh, trying to co-write with people has just been a really eye-opening. You you just mm-hmm. learn a lot about how other people write songs and. And, and different angles and, and ways to play guitar or, or other instruments and mm-hmm. it, it's it's been a real fun time. Nice. Yeah. 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 Um, and you you did something last January where you wrote a song every day of the month. That's right. Yeah. And a lot of those were those co-writes too? The, there was a I'd say about a little over a third of those were co-writes. Okay. So I think there was yeah yeah I think a little over a third and uh, yeah the, the, the idea was I think I'd gone you know, you focus a lot on getting out there and, and performing and setting up mm-hmm. gigs and you're doing the PR and all, all the yeah. business the business side of things. And sometimes the songwriting falls on the wayside. Mm-hmm. And I just decided, you know, I don't even want to be, you know, it, it's January, it's going to be really crummy weather yeah. and I, I don't even, I don't, I don't need to drive in that. I'm just going to, I'm going to make sure that I'm not writing only six songs mm-hmm. this year. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to have... 30, 31 songs, you know, and and that way I can, at the end of the year, I'll be like, hey, at least I, I, I wrote 31 songs, good or bad, I did it, and uh-huh. uh, I think most of them came out pretty pretty good, and 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 a lot of that was because of the people like you, uh, you know, we did we did one yeah, of a song together, so and that was a really fun song, yeah. and uh, I, I did one with uh, Valerie Bott from uh, the, the last month's featured artist, yeah. And uh, um, yeah, I mean it's uh, just that—that's a blast. And, nice. Well, that's and I hear and you're doing it again this January, right? I, I plan to do it again this year. Uh, it's just it's it's fun. Just it's it's so it's just so simple. You just mm-hmm. you just wake up and and you, you know that your your sole purpose in life is to write a song. That's it. <laughs> you yeah. just it's just pure creativity uh-huh. and and it just sort of you know it works together that you're you know you're posting it as. Uh, social media and whatnot so you know people get to see it too and yeah. and you get to bring you know the the audience and and other musicians and everybody kind of comes together and it's yeah. a big it, to me it feels like a a big community event so uh speaking of community how did you uh what inspired you to get involved with soundbridge music i first found out about songbridge uh when they were uh offering a scholarship to song school down in Lyons, and uh, so i applied for that and i looked into it and it just looks, you know, looking into it, it looked like it was a really amazing organization trying to, uh, uh, you know, not not just supporting uh, the artists, but also uh, trying to bring music to uh, 
uh, other communities uh, that are maybe you know not as well served as the uh, the venues out there. Um, and uh, it just seems like a really a really good cause, and uh, I'm really honored to to be part of it. So just uh, uh, being listed there and being available for things, it's it's just it's it's a wonderful organization, and uh, I'm I'm really honored to be. Uh, 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 recognized. Nice. Well, it's so great to have you. Wow. And uh, so we've got the big show at Still Cellars, December 19th, right? That's correct. It's a Wednesday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 6.30 to 8.30. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a few uh, special guests there. Uh, we've got uh, John Bunsley, uh, Jason Allen, uh, Kirk Bennett, and um, uh, Cheyenne Dane. So yeah, we're nice. going to get... Uh, Good variety of instrumentation in there. So, yeah. Yeah. What do you hope people uh, come away with after after they see one of your shows? <sighs> I, I hope they're entertained. I hope that they're uh, intellectually stimulated. Uh, I hope they're emotionally s- stimulated. I hope that there's, uh, I you know I. I hope they're smirking. I'm not. I'm not one for big guffaws. I'm more for smirks. So I hope people kind of have a little bit of a smirk or a little bit of a wry smile when they leave. I think that'd be nice. Yeah. I just. I, I want them to kind of hopefully see kind of the. Uh, just feel the breadth of what music can do. Um, you know, ideally, I don't know. I don't know. I just. I hope to make a connection. Yeah. You know how it is. You want to make a connection with people, and mm-hmm. that's. That's really the main thing. I mean, I could talk all highfalutin and stuff, but I, you know, I'm looking to make a connection with people, and I'm hoping that that I I write something, and that we, in that through the performance and through the song itself, that uh, uh, somehow I just managed to to connect with people. Mm-hmm. So. That's huge. Well, thank you so much for, for sitting down and chatting with us. Well, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Um, Anything else you'd like to share with the fans and folks out there? You guys are awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for watching this, and thank you for supporting Soundbridge. If you haven't seen Dave perform, you can catch him at Still Cellars in Longmont on December 19th at 6.30. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check back in January for our next Featured Artist of the Month. If you're interested in learning more about Soundbridge Music and becoming a part of Music for Change, check us out at soundbridgemusic.org.